Hello everyone, and I just wanted to get out here today because I had mentioned I was going to do a little video about it, but I got to talk about Final Fantasy um, 16. It's the new one that's out. Um, there's a lot of different takes on it and stuff like that, so I'm just throwing mine out there as an avid Final Fantasy person. I've played everything from the online stuff to the Nintendo, um, so I've kind of done it all. And with the new one, I get it. It's... It's not your typical Final Fantasy because it's not a real role-playing game. Um, there's a couple little elements to it that are role-playing, but um, it's definitely different. Um, so we'll start from the beginning. So with it, um, even the opening scene's a lot more movie than it is gameplay. So you, if you pop it in, you try it out, you are going to notice that um, the beginning is very slow. Um, it's probably one of the slowest playing games I've done yet um and yeah it's just it's slow moving but it's got a good storyline that kind of catches you from the beginning um and with it you sort of get an idea of where the game is going um but yeah so and then the fighting the fighting intro was cool i thought that was interesting um the the first time you're using your sword and kind of like your little fancy abilities and stuff like that um they set it up rather nice and easy to pick up now with it also the buttons are are very manageable it's nothing crazy you don't have to learn any sort of combos or anything like that and it's not turn based so it's it's, it's rather easy there um it's sort of just slash slash dodge uh maybe magic uh, depending on how you feel when you're fighting um but yeah, and then you get some special abilities on top of that that you kind of throw into the mix. Um, so it can get kind of interesting. Um, now, with it, I think they picked a good time to make a game kind of like this because, um, again, it's more of a hack and slash action game than anything else. Um, but they picked a good time because Final Fantasy VII, the remake, I think they're releasing another part of it now. Um, so they got that going and I've definitely seen a lot more ads for their online stuff going around. So if you're looking to get that like Final Fantasy RPG aspect, you can still get it really easy um, with the other avenues that they have out there. And this way they kind of, I think they're like dipping their toe um, into a different way to play Final Fantasy and just see what people think. Um, I know it's been a, a huge success in Japan. It hasn't had the same success in North America, I guess. Um, I haven't seen the actual like total numbers. I've just read like in regards to like overall sales and stuff like that. It is down um, compared to the last one. Now with this one, it is just you. Like you only control you really. Um, you don't heal or anything. The other people in your party. Um, so it's it's yeah, it's definitely just a different experience. It's a lot easier too. Uh, I, I have yet to die. Um, and I'm quite a ways through the game. I'm probably over halfway and I haven't died yet. Um, so they've definitely made it very story driven. But it shouldn't take away from giving it a shot. I definitely think you should you should jump into the game. Uh, give it a go if you're a Final Fantasy fan. I think it's probably my favorite storyline since 7. Um, just with everything that's going on. You could kind of guess some of the, like, they tried to hide certain things, but you can guess it pretty early on. But yeah, if you if you jump into it, give it a shot. I mean, the, the fighting's kind of fun and cheesy. It's nothing too difficult. You can kind of get it and move on, and then you can sort of find new ways to do combos and stuff and have fun with it. So it's it's a good thing. But yeah, I think I think that's really it with 16, um, without giving away a bunch of spoilers or or anything like that. Um, I might do a more in-depth one later on because I do want to start reviewing stuff more often. So that's something I'm definitely going to look to do. But yeah, uh, with Final Fantasy, just, just give it a shot, especially if you're a fan. Like the story will grab you alone. It's it, and it's a nice, relaxing game. You, you don't have to master a dodge. You don't have to master a block or master a combo or anything like that. You can just sort of dive in and have some fun, and, and definitely. Make it challenging for yourself. So figure out new ways to do combos, faster ways to kill people in the game, um, faster ways to get through stuff, and definitely do the side quests. That's that's my last thing. That's my biggest thing. Do the side quests. It, it adds to the story. And and from what I've read of other people's reviews, um, as I get later into the game, it's gonna it's gonna have a huge impact uh, on like 
adding to the storyline and filling it out uh, and making kind of more complete. So I'm definitely going to continue to do them. Um, and it's just fun. Like it just adds to, I mean, like I said, it's great writing in the story uh, compared to some previous stuff. I really think that they, they pushed it and the cinematics are amazing. Just uh, definitely expect to, to watch a lot. Definitely early on. All right, and with that, nerds, you can obviously get this video on YouTube. And everything we do is through Riverside. So if you look below, you can see that we have a, a link for a link that you can click on to support us um, by using Riverside. And then also, um, we have like our other things on there. Like now we've got our heroes websites back up. So here's the nerdverse.com is up. It's got merch. It's got links to crossing the nerdverse, our, our big podcast. Um, it's got links to all the YouTube. Uh, it's also got our blog that I've started back up and it's got a support page. So any of the podcasts out there, any of the other uh, content creators that have kind of supported us and, and things of that nature, they're, they're going to be on there and added to as people want to be added. Um, so yeah. Go out and grab Final Fantasy 16. Uh, have a nice, relaxing time with it. Enjoy it. It's kind of like a movie that you interact with a bit. <laughs> have a good one.